progress we celebrate today is the result of tremendous collaboration and partnership in support of a shared vision for a sustainable future. Just walking through it was just fantastic to see all the different shadows and patterns and uh, the animals and the vegetation. And so everything that we've been talking about for two years is present. The solar strand, which consists of nearly 3,200 panels, will generate 750 kilowatts, enough power to meet electricity needs of hundreds of student apartments right here on campus, help protect the environment by avoiding the emission of nearly 400 tons of harmful greenhouse gas, and save the university and its students approximately $60,000 a year in energy costs. What an amazing project to have, you know, 0.75 megawatts of energy come from the sun. It's sort of as a feather in University of Buffalo's cap. UB is making a long-range investment in creating the climate for our students, faculty, and staff to pursue excellence. This vision is not just about strengthening UB. It is about building a brighter future for all of our communities locally as well as globally. Over the last winter and the spring, driving back and forth past the grounds, it's been very exciting because uh, visually it's so stunning. It's an honor to implement a design by a famous, world famous artist that truly will engage the student body and allow them to use it in their everyday life while on campus. We decided to put an edge, the steel edge will go on both sides of the stair yeah. and down the middle between the next stair as well. We can have visions in our studio all we want, but if we don't have a client out there who's willing to take a chance, then the work stays in the studio. And I'd like to thank all of you for giving our idea a chance and actually constructing it. Three, two, one. Today we celebrate turning the strand on, but it's only a chapter of a much larger story. Our hope is that the Strand becomes a resource not only for our university, but the community, and especially our youngest members who will help fulfill this sustaining vision of our future. This fall, I'm excited to hold meetings with the Environmental Network under the soaring panels that make up the array, while students and researchers from the Geography Department study the patchwork ecology between the Strand, and other friends from the School of Engineering study the flow of energy into the grid. So in closing, I'd like to thank you all for trusting in a vision, for being optimistic, and I put the challenge to you to allow the solar strand to sort of enrich your lives daily and not be afraid to make changes.